including uh, the Broadway Comedy Club when she's in New York. It's Phyllis Foreign. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I think we've already uh, established that I'm not 25. But in cat years, I'm only 14. But before I start my, my routine, I gotta tell you something happened when we stopped to get gas before we came here. I overheard a woman tell her friend, old people have a smell. <laughs> well, sure we do, minus beer and marijuana. <laughs> Is this a Gondi crap? Can I hear it, please? Mother <laughs> Phil? Can I tell you I put the Jew in marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> but um, right up front, I, I want to tell you guys where I'm coming from. I'm on the cusp of see-through panties and adult diapers. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, it really sucks. And you know, some women really have a hard time aging. Like for instance, they'll put anything on their face if they think it'll make them look younger. My girlfriend uses preparation age. Preparation age on her face. What if her boyfriend says, gee, hon, you look great, but what's that smell? Wouldn't you feel like an asshole? <laughs> I would, anyway. But I, it's not so much the aging part that bothers me. It's my infrastructure is breaking down. For instance, I signed up for Kundalini Yoga. Why? I thought it said Kundalingus Yoga. <laughs> you should have seen their faces when I showed up in my crotchless pants. <laughs> oh, if these lips could talk. Okay. <laughs> but, oh, God, even worse, last month, a good friend, well, a former good friend, invited me to a la -di da charity event. Well, I'm very fidgety. So he leans over and says, would you please sit on your hands and stay in your place? But I thought he said, will you please Pull down your pants and sit on my face. <laughs> Look, I am. <laughs> anyway, but but I don't want you to think I'm I'm not happy with the way my body is changing. No, my boobs are sagging. My cups <coughs> runneth over. <laughs> I used to be a 34B. Now I'm a 34 long. I've seen guys at the beach with more uplift than me. And when I say my moves are going south, I don't mean Miami Beach, no. Right about now, they're crossing the equator. Not so bad in the winter, because they keep my knees warm. You know? Oh, I don't even know where my nipples are. I haven't seen them in a month. But look, some women can wear these stretch bras. I had to get a winch. <laughs> yeah. And oh, and just to make my day complete, this morning I read as a woman ages, her vagina drops. Well, I guess I'll have to date shorter guys from now on. <laughs> it's a visual. <laughs> anyway, so, but it's not all bad news. No, I don't, oh, you know, with this, with this vagina thing, I don't want you guys to get cocky, because gravity is not your friend either. No. You know what happens when you swing low, sweet <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I think I'm ovulating. How do you like your eggs? Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, I forgot fucking, oh, it's not all bad news. It's not all bad news, no. I got to create the signature drink for seniors. It's equal parts vodka and prune juice. We, we, we call it the plunger, you know. But you young girls, look, yeah, compared to me, you're fucking young, okay? Now, you young girls, you can't relate, because when you get up off a chair, everything gets up with you, bitch. <laughs> I get up off the chair, I have to take inventory. Oh, I left my behind behind. So, um, what else do I want to tell you about? Oh, 
You know, it's like people think if you're a performer that you're really confident. This is not true. I am so sensitive. If you're rude to me, I get a yeast infection. <laughs> and, and, and I have a problem with paranoia, too. But I am getting better, I have to say that, because now I've learned to say to someone, what's wrong? Are you mad at me? And usually they say, I don't even know you. <laughs> okay, another look. Hi, First time got a better reaction. Okay, so what else am I talking about? Oh, my uh, paranoia, oh my God. One time I turned myself into the FBI because I was suspicious of my thoughts. They, they ordered me to stay 100 yards away from myself. <laughs> but, but actually, I'm a very safe, I'm a sociable person. I'm very social, I like being around people. I can go up to a complete stranger and say, why don't you like me? Hmm? The silence is stifling. Okay, okay, so where am I now? So let me tell you, I think that I get a kick out of the fact that we all come on the scene so naive. The dating scene, the sex scene. Like for instance, girls, did we have any idea how boring a hand job is? <laughs> Guys, do us a favor, leave the TV on. <laughs> I love it, keep going. <laughs> no, no um, so what else am I saying? I, I got stoned before I came on tonight. I sh probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> do you know one time I was taking a shower and when I was through I couldn't figure out how to get out of the tub? <laughs> I swear to you, that's true. Another time I was getting dressed, I had no idea how to put my bra on. I just kept looking at it. You know? <laughs> okay, so we're talking about, um, if, let me ask you this. For everything you know about sex, did anybody ever tell you you needed to have? No. I'm gonna make a, a quick change now. I wrote some stuff about cats, and who knows when I'll ever be here again. So let me, this is dedicated to my cat, Alfie. Alfie is so shy that he practically lives underneath the sofa. So I'm, pe I'm peeking down at him and I'm saying, Alfie, please come out, don't be frightened. Found out I was talking to a pile of dirt. <laughs> and he's very jealous when I had my girlfriend sleep over, he peed at the foot of the bed where she was. And, and so needy. If he only knew I was seeing another cat. I don't know. But. So anyway, last Christmas I'm wrapping gifts and, I, and Alfie grabs a piece of red ribbon. Before I could get to him, he swallows it. Next morning, in his litter box, a beautiful gift wrap turd for me. It's just so, so touching. And you know, I think it's good for you if you're if you have a cat because it keeps you in shape. Every month I bench press 25 pounds of meow mix at Petco. And oh one time I scientifically observed the cat to see what he does when he's not sleeping. Well he groomed his coat, uh, he caught a stray roach. And he checked the closets, which was nice to know. So, um, but let me say this. I know that he's bored. I know. So I came up with a game to help him with that. It's called Catch the Toenails. I sit in my bed. I, I cut my toenails off. And he tries to catch them as they start. I know you've done that. Okay. But anyhow, let me end with this. I did find out why cats spend so much time in the window. They're waiting for the return of the cat messiah. And it said, before the coming, there will be hundreds of cat camps, the sound of it opening up, and, 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 and we'll all take a nap. And that's the end. Thank you very much.